So I kept seeing these videos on my feed, right? Like I'd swipe, swipe, swipe. And like every other video was about digital marketing and about someone who had just hit 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 30,000 a month with digital products. And honestly, at first it made no sense. And I was like, wait a minute, like, is this just another scam? Like what's going on here? So I had to get into it. Hey YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. I am so happy to be back here filming this for you guys. I've missed you guys so much. I love my YouTube community. It's been way too long, you guys. Way, way too long. And you know, every time that as a content creator, you kind of step back a little bit from content creating, coming back, always feels a little bit awkward, but once you get the hang of it, it's kind of like riding a bike. So bear with me in this video as we break the ice together, guys. I have been really busy, honestly. I, you know, your girl loves to do the most. And I love to keep myself busy, in other words, and just try different things all the time. So here we are in today's video. So for anyone that is new here, I want to start off by giving you a solid backstory. That way, everything I'm going to share in this video makes sense to you. So for the those of you guys that don't know, I have been a content creator for about, okay, maybe officially four years. But truthfully, I think it's been closer to six or seven years. I have done YouTube for a while. I've done Instagram, TikTok. Um, I've had brand sponsorships. I've done a lot of modeling. So your girl's been on the online scene for a while. And I also do have a full-time job. So I am an aspiring full-time content creator and I am a full-time worker nine to five. Let me tell you guys that that combination, 10 out of 10 would not recommend to anybody, but you know what? We have dreams and I'm a big believer that we don't put our dreams on hold and we go after what we want and we show up every day and we put in the work. So it is what it is. And I know that every time that I choose to create and be creative and put myself out there, I'm a step closer to that angle that I have in mind and, and my dream. And yeah, so I don't want to get too, you know, motivational on you guys, but that's just a little bit about me. I'll go ahead and put all of my socials down below so you guys can check out my different pages. But let's talk about what everyone here came for, and that is digital marketing. So I've been creating content for years now, and I feel like I've had really great years, you know, where I've gotten brand sponsorships and I've represented brands, mostly fitness brands, because that's originally where I started at. And then I've had other years where... I just have not seen a lot of growth, you know, on any of my platforms, regardless if I'm putting in the work and everything, it's kind of been dead. So about two years ago, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go back to school. And mind you, going back to school and finishing my bachelor's degree is something that is on my list of things to do, like on a personal goal list, because I'm a first generation and none of my other siblings or my parents ever got that far in school. So it's just something like that I want to achieve as a personal accomplishment. And I was like, you know what, if I can't make it in the content creating world, knock on wood, right? I'm like, I'm going to go back to school for marketing because at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. Like you're promoting brands, promoting yourself, creating a brand, making these videos, creative directing. Content creators really do a little bit of it all. So I was like, I'm going to go back to school for marketing. So in December of last year, I decided to apply for school and I applied for business specifically marketing because I was like, again, if I at the end of the day, I'm not going to be a full-time content creator, then at least I can get a job where I get to do what I love because that's truly my goal, being able to do what I love full-time. Let's fast forward to January of this year and I'm just, you know, scrolling on my phone, whatever, and I keep seeing these videos pop up on my feed about people making $5,000, $10,000, $30,000, $20,000 a month with digital marketing. And, you know, at first I just skipped them. I'm like, oh, it's like another trend or a scam or like just some random thing that's popular right now. I want to see the things that I want to see. Funny videos, content creating ideas, my favorite creators, whatever. So I keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Fast forward to March of this year and I'm still seeing these videos and it's consistent. And it's getting to the point where I'm kind of like, okay, 
let me see what this is about. I'm on social media right now anyways. I love creating content. Let me just check this out. I mean, I wouldn't mind making an extra $5,000, $10,000 a month. And all I have to do is post content and make videos, which I'm already doing for free anyways. So in March, I decided to do my own research. I spent about mm, maybe two, three days, guys, I kid you not, looking into digital marketing and what the hell is digital marketing and why is it so popular and why are people making so much money? Why is it all over my feed? And believe it or not, they shut me up, guys. They shut me up. So I don't know about you, but I didn't know that digital marketing was an actual career. It's actually something you can go to school for. And people in the corporate world make starting salary about $80,000 being digital marketers for companies. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, wait a minute. You're telling me that people are doing it online without the degree. And even if they're doing it with the degree, it doesn't matter. Like this is a thing. It's like if you had to attach content creating to a job this would be the thing. That's the way that I clicked it in my head. So I kept looking into it, kept looking into it. And then of course, what started happening, I started getting a bunch of ads, of course, on my phone for me to go back to school for digital marketing. It's a certificate. It's a couple of weeks. And I was like, okay, so this is like a legit thing. This is serious. So I decided to look up well, wait, let me rewind. So at this point, guys, I was like, you know what? School is going to take me about three years to finish. School costs $65,000. And a lot of that for me is going to be student loans. I already know. And student loans is something I've always been afraid of personally. It's not really something like it's still taboo for me being first generation and all this stuff. If you guys understand, let me know. So anyways, at this point, I had decided, you know what? I'm going to do digital marketing like I truly have nothing to lose. I already love creating content. It's easy for me. I like to be in front of the camera. So I started to look into the curriculum. Like this is how extra I am, guys. This is why I really hope you stay till the end of the video because I did my research, okay? I did so much research for you guys already. I looked into the curriculum of the digital marketing certificate that my local university was offering. And I was like, okay, pretty cool. We're gonna be doing some SEO, some you know websites, some this, some that. A lot of nerd terms, okay? I'll save you guys the nerd terms. But then I decided to look into this other one that kept popping up on my phone called the Digital Wealth Academy. And there were so many people promoting it because it comes with something called master resale rights. I'll get into that later if you guys want me to. But I was like, okay, let me look at this one. And I did my research on that one and all of the things that it covered and the price. And I compared pricing and how legit it was and Trust me, guys, like I'm personally somebody that when I'm going to get into something, I do my research because I don't like anyone coming to tell me or finding out later that, you know, it's not true or like whatever. So I did my research. The one from the school cost $2,500. The one that I kept seeing on social media cost 400 and something dollars, right? And I was like, well, honestly, regardless, I have nothing to lose because I love content creating. This is direction that I want to go with my career. I want to do it full time. So I ended up getting the Digital Wealth Academy and I got that at the beginning of March. And I kid you not, guys, I was so scared to hit that purchase button. I was scared, guys. I almost didn't do it. And I'm so happy that I did. But I was really nervous because I think that whenever you try something new in life, there's always this like, maybe not always, maybe just for me, but there's like this small little fear of like, oh man, what if this doesn't work? I'm going to waste like almost 500 bucks. I'm going to waste my time, whatever. But I also have to remind myself, like I've shared on this channel, that a failure comes with the territory and we have to switch our minds to not see things as failure, but rather as learning experiences. So that's a topic for a whole other video, but once I got access to the course, guys, I was absolutely blown away. I could literally cry. Like, I know that sounds really extra, but there was so much information in that course that I knew wasn't in the one that the university was offering. It's not even in the one that freaking Google offers, guys, because Google also offers a course about digital marketing. And I was so grateful that I decided to take the leap of faith because there's really no other way to describe it. And I got to work 
on my lunch break, after work, before work, on the weekends. It has 80 modules, guys. So a lot of people think they're going to get into digital marketing and in a few days they're going to be up and running and the thousands are going to be coming in. Like, no, guys, just imagine this is something you can go to school for. So it has 80 modules and it goes through so many different things. Email marketing, SEO, branding, uh, building your audience, so many things that content creators need to know regardless and when you start being a content creator, there's really no guidebook. There's no like rule book. There's no instructions. You just kind of wing it and hopefully it goes well, right? And people like your stuff and they resonate with you. So it took me about two weeks to finish the course. And me being me, you know, I was like, oh my God, I got, I got to get started. Like I'm missing out. Like I want to have everything set up already. That's always me. And with this, I've taken a very different approach. I'm like, you know what? Good things take time. And what comes fast goes fast. And there's a lot of people that are doing it right now that are starting. They don't even have the content creating background. And they're like stay at home moms or they're just people that are frustrated with their lives or their work and, and they want to make money online and they want to be remote and all this other stuff. And I'm like, you know what, Claudia, we're going to do it right. We are going to take our time. We are going to learn. We're going to we're going to try different things. We're going to see what works. And so far, guys, I am just so grateful that I decided to start digital marketing. If you've made it this far in the video and you're like, okay, I get it. Digital marketing is great, but what is it? I had that same question and I don't understand why a lot of people are so shady in like explaining it because honestly, once you explain it, it's literally a no brainer. Anyone any business, any niche, any content creator should be taking advantage of digital marketing. And anyone that says otherwise or that says that it's a scam or that you can't make money in it, first of all, the proof is in itself, guys. Like, I know a lot of people now that are part of this online community that are so supportive that it's real and it makes sense once you get it. And yeah, I don't understand why people don't really want to explain it. That's kind of like something that is weird in this community, but I'm going to explain it to you guys in layman terms, in the most basic way. Digital marketing is you selling a digital product you had to create once, and sometimes you don't even have to make it because there's a lot of creators already and companies that are selling done-for-you templates, meaning all you have to do is customize them and resell them with something called private label rights, PRL. You guys know how Amazon started by selling books online and people thought it was the weirdest thing that it was never going to amount to anything. Like why would you buy a book online where you can just go to Barnes and Noble and grab it yourself and read it yourself. But now look at Amazon. Amazon, I mean... <laughs> Do I really have to say anything about Amazon? You probably just ordered something from Amazon and you're waiting for it anyways. So digital products are the new era, I feel, of something like Amazon, except it's never going to run out of style. There's never going to be enough digital products. It's never going to be something redundant because any niche, like I said, any small business, any business owner, any content creator should be taking advantage of creating digital products. Digital marketing is you selling services and products online to your community, your audience, a business, whatever it is. And content creators do it all the time. So that's why I don't understand why people are so like, oh, it's so weird. Like, I don't get it. Guys, do your research, okay? Let's say, for example, I don't know, let's say I'm a content creator and my niche is interior design and home decor, right? I love to post aesthetic videos of stuff that I get at Ikea and Amazon, blah, blah, blah. And I have this really awesome community. It doesn't have to be a big community, but you have this like people that follow you because they like the way that you do stuff. So what do you do? to create a form of passive income, to create another form of passive income. If you already have, you know, sponsorships, affiliate marketing, brand deals, whatever, you create a digital product. In this case, you would create a how-to ebook on how to style your home for different seasons, different moods. Like, do you guys get where I'm going? Like, as content creators, we spend hours, guys, hours, filming 
editing, getting ready, coming up with scripts, the aesthetic, hashtags, SEO words, I mean, you name it. And then we post it and we tag all these brands that we want to work with. Trust me, I'm only saying this because I've been doing it for years and nothing happens because every other content creator is doing the same thing you're doing. And as amazing and as great as you are and as cool as your filming style is and all this stuff, it's getting harder and harder to stand out. That's just reality. And there's a lot of amazing creators out there. I mean, it's it's insane, guys, every day. There's kids that are like 12 years old and they're full-time content creators on TikTok because of how good they are with what they do. And just they make you laugh and all this other stuff. So... To me, it personally seemed dumb to not take advantage of digital marketing right now, of digital products, when it's literally, it's a baby in the industry, you could say. It's like just getting started. So I hope that explains a little bit about what digital marketing is. But you literally create a digital product on Canva for free once, and then you can resell it as many times as you want. You become the person that provides that value and education for your community And that is something indispensable, guys. If you're a business owner, like let's say, for example, you're a lash artist, you're a real estate agent, you should be making digital products about steps to get ready if you're a new home buyer, right? If you're going to buy a home, how to wash your lashes and maintain them and skincare stuff. Just again, like anything, you guys can literally go to Google and type digital products for blah, 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 niche, digital products for X business, And thousands of ideas are going to come up, guys. There's really no excuse. And personally, it just made sense. Like with everything that I'm doing and the community that I'm building here, how much I want to help people to get out of their comfort zone and believe in themselves. And if you want to start a podcast, start a podcast. You want to do YouTube, do YouTube. You want to start your own business, start your own business. Like, guys, I made myself a promise at the beginning of this year. And I hope that this doesn't sound too aggressive, but I'm just... I'm just going to say it, guys. I said, I'm not going to be the reason that I'm holding myself back anymore. And I spoke about this before in another video. I refuse, guys. I refuse to be the reason that I don't go after the things that I want, that I don't create the money online that I want, that I don't reach the people that I want to reach. I refuse, guys, because... I think I said, and I think it took me, what, seven, eight years to get to this point where I could be talking to you guys like this. And I know this video is probably over time and I hope the real ones stay and watch the whole thing. But if that's you and you can relate to that, it's enough. Like enough is enough, guys. And maybe digital marketing isn't your thing, but maybe something else that I mentioned is regardless, guys, it's up to us to make that a reality. I'm going to be 28 next month. That seems insane, guys. Like, I feel like I was 18 just, I don't know, a couple years ago. Maybe a decade since I was 18. Like, time flies, guys, whether we're taking advantage of it or not. And I'm done caring about what so many people think or don't think or if people like me or don't like me, if they like my stuff that I put out. I am so happy that I can do this. And like I said, I work a full-time job. So right now I could be out, you know, it's beautiful, it's sunny, whatever, but I'm here with you guys because this is genuinely what I love to do, whether I get paid or not. But why not get paid for it? So I've personally created my own set of digital products that I want to share with you guys that are for people that are either aspiring content creators, you're a content creator and you want to get into digital marketing, and also, of course, the Digital Wealth Academy course. I'm going to put my link down below, and if you guys have any questions, please reach out, send me a DM, leave a comment. So many times I say leave a comment on my videos, not for any other reason that If you're that first person that starts that chain and you leave a comment, trust me, all the other people that watch this video most likely have questions, just like I had questions. So if you're that one person that's going to be brave and ask a question, I promise you I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. I did also make a separate YouTube account for all things digital marketing. I obviously made a separate 
Instagram account and TikTok for digital marketing and for my digital marketing business just because I personally hate when I follow people and then they switch up like everything that they're doing and I'm like wait a minute I followed you for this now you're doing this so I will put also the link to my new YouTube channel there I will be uploading strictly educational stuff about digital marketing documenting my journey as well and I want to wrap up this video by saying that if you're a content creator or a small business owner and you need digital marketing services, I have opened up my digital marketing business to also work as an agency. So we do everything in-house, so many different services that we provide for content creators and small business owners. So send us an email or go ahead to the link and go ahead and book a session with us so we can get creative and start helping you guys. Thank you guys for all of your support. I'm beyond excited. Like I can't even contain my excitement, guys. Sometimes I can't even sleep literally about this new journey and everything that it's going to bring and all of the amazing people that I've already met and that I've been able to help. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let your girl know. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Bye. Bye.